Hello, ladies, gents, and forcefully reunited family members. I really should pay slightly closer attention to the people that I forcefully induct into our personal area with the prospects of becoming parts of the community. Because uh, I didn't realize she's freaking 74 and frail. So she's probably not going to be punching that many people. That being said, she's still a useful person. Frail does get offset by Jogger quite a bit. Frail makes people walk so slow. And also, you get a lot less manipulation, which makes her a terrible doctor. So, you know, like, she's not going to be the best doctor, the best crafter, and or the best puncher. The only thing saving you from organ harvest right now, Tony, is the fact that you are actually Kraklak Vakvis' sister. That's your entire saving grace. Same with Ball. Ball is, in fact, also fairly useless for being a wimp and a neurotic and delicate genie. What a piece of garbage. But at least, uh, and also, he's, you could say, oh, well, he can, he's really intellectual. He's cooped up in your place all the time. Well, he is freaking unwaveringly loyal so all we can get is a freaking slave out of this guy <laughs> it's pretty upsetting pretty upsetting that the family members that showed up happened to be useless in one way or another i respect family ties though so we're going to induct them into our colony and you know if they fall victim to a stray bullet to the brain pan that is just too bad I was also doing a little bit of cleanup with my prisoners, and by cleanup, I mean, you know, chest cavity cleanup. Gotta make sure that this fella is not overburdened with all those organs. If you remember, we messed up a quest and Tubo, who we were supposed to protect, now he's just a lump in one of my beds. Might as well make it a profitable lump. Get some organs into our inventory so we can sell them for profit. And Maguire, she would also be a decent addition. You know, she has some passions and things that I appreciate. Too bad she has major Alzheimer's and is 82 years old. So she's just gonna get released for a little bit of a reputation gain. And that is my fully pragmatic approach to what's going to happen in the near future. Soon we're going to have a new and exciting slave. So let's make the slave hole slightly more comfortable with more people in there. And we can give them general purpose beatings soon. The only person that is in any way exciting to soon join the colony is going to be Sam. Sam is a careful shooter. I know, as a chemical fascination person, she may introduce a few colorful interactions going forward, but I find chemical fascination amusing. I am sure there will be all kinds of really fun times to be had with her drug addiction. Looking forward to it. She's a young female of reproduction, reproductory uh, capacity. She is welcome in this colony. Ruffles Tom is no longer capable of walking. All right, good stuff. Surgery failed. Der Meister, with your silly, <laughs> with your silly animal paws, went and tried to cut into Tubo. Instead, just destroyed his kidney. You are a complete disappointment, Der Meister. Really should have given this fella a little bit higher quality medication. That way, he will be able to uh, withstand the operations a little bit better. Maybe make the prison slightly more sanitary so that they will... It's okay, Thurmeister. You're going to get it right this time around, aren't you? With your five medical skills. Why is not... What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Something blew up. Something exploded. No message? Nothing? Okay, Thurmeister. Are you going to succeed this time? He actually succeeded. Oh, it was just thunder. It was just uh, lightning happening. Are these guys let's get them tamed. Surely they will not turn on my fellow colonists and bite them to death and then explode when retri retribution tries to happen. 
Oh, baby. Sa Sam is now part of the colony. Unfortunately, she's still believing absolutely idiotic things. The number of the diversity is getting a little out of control here. By the way, let's get the schedule for everybody. There you go. Um, let's check Mad Boomalope. It wasn't revenge. That's weird. It was not revenge for trying to tame them. Just happened to be a Mad Boomalope right there. We respect Mad Boomalopes because they can be a real uh, problem. We don't definitely don't want a swordsman to go in there and do any kind of business there. Do we have somebody that is close? Turn monster. I actually don't want effing damage to take these animals there. So, Blackbird really wants to go to bed. I, I just want a little bit more firepower to go there with Gravedigger. A Boomalum doesn't take a whole lot of punishment. But I uh, definitely want some firepower to dissuade this creature from trying to bite my head off. Fathead nerd. We really should have a weapon of some sort. What do we have? I think all the weapons are up here. I mean, just give him a pistol. Just so he can shoot fools in the head. There, equip that heavy SMG. Actually, you can go over there, equip that SMG, and then draft. Equip. And then come out. Grave digger, come out there. This boomalope is going to be so mad. It's just an uh, elephant right there. Just trying to get somebody that's close. Ragman is wielding a freaking Eltec staff. Please! I don't want to effing damage. Okay, after birth, we'll go out there. The piece of garbage. We'll go out there. Let's get some shots on this boomalope. Wonder if I can actually calm him with my animal call. I don't think I don't think that that's the way it works. Hey, idiot! God damn it. Why is it going out that way though? Is it wearing me out? That is definitely the opposite way that you sh should be going. You absolute moron. The problem solved itself. Amazing. All right, everybody on draft. No uh, problem whatsoever. Did they get ruined? It did not get ruined. Amazing. I would like this to be uh, rebuilt, though. There you go. We have plenty of steel, right? Steel is fine. 1362. All right. All right. So, with all that managed... Everything is well and truly underway. Oh, I need to go back here and tell this moron. Health. Back to herbal right there. Well, we got an organ out of it. That's pretty decent. Now we'll just got to wait for some crafting to happen. I realized that, hey, I haven't crafted a nice mech commander helmet. Hey, Gravedigger tamed the boomalope. Boomalopes are... Super, super useful to have as pets. They are a source of camp fuel. Probably the only good source of camp fuel. Refining biomass into camp fuel is such a wasteful process unless you have a giant farm of fiber corn or something. Uh, just a bunch of boomalopes. It's a huge source. Female? Male. Perfect. Excellent. That is all that we need. They will reproduce and bring me all kinds of chemical joy. Spend some time. Let's see. Oh, well, there was more timing. More taming happening. I hope that there's no... The, the third one, just the fourth one went nuts. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. What are you saying with Tony? You're, I'm actually trying to recruit her, huh? I guess we're doing that. <laughs> she is frail. But she will be useful in some capacity. Just don't let her operate on anybody. Or she will leave scalpels inside the inside the chest cavity of my my colony. This is probably not going to be great. Hey, make worked. Fantastic. What do we have? Yeah, the cops are being planted. This pleases me greatly. Can we please though have a mech commander? Oh, it's already built and it was good. Blargo. Time for you. To wield the ultimate Mech Commander helmet. And now he's banned with doubles? That's fantastic. We're gonna have a few more butlers. What do we have right now, mech wise? We're doing pretty well. 
I don't think we need any more butlers right now with the size of our colony. Maybe get another agri hand. Because, uh... Do we have a lot of plants, people? Effin Damas is really our only real plants person. Afterbirth will do it now and then. Probably will uh, gestate a new agri hand. There you go. Blargo will get around it. Don't worry about it. Get that plus one and eventually it will happen. Mother-in-law is right there. Every all, all the elephants have been properly properly treated looking pretty great is there any quest going on oh yeah we did have this but you know uh, do i want to slaughter these people this is 14 people but seven eight yeah that's 14 which is not that terrible but guarding a worthless piece of trash for 17 days it's just not worth. These two items are not worth doing all that. For an orbit of enslaved. <laughs> all right. Well, I am sure that uh, time for you to wear a beautiful color. There you go. Wonderful. Debase yourself right now. Masterwork collar in only the best comfort for you, ball. All right, ball. We're going to have you, of course, do this. You're going to just be our incredible miner. Everybody abuse this miner. Everybody should feel free to abuse the miner at any point. Fully morally correct to do such a thing. And you can do your crafting. Actually, I want you to create blocks first and then worry about the other stuff. There you go. That that seems like a decent distribution. He's probably our best crafter. Fat haired nerd is also pretty good at it. So when you're not when you're not mining, you're going to be creating things with priority of making blocks. Another slave. Excellent. <laughs> Let me just put them all up there. But ball though. You need, you do need to receive your new and improved slave name. Let me make sure that you're properly, properly addressed. I think a good name for you shall be Sweaty. You will be our sweatshop resident. It just, you know, a, a punny play on words. I'm not feeling like terribly proud of it, but it's, it's good, I think. Cave Explorer, sure, why not? She's going to be sweaty all day long and it's going to be hilarious as we abuse her with impunity. That being said, I don't think there's any mining to be done right now. Everything's looking pretty good. Like all our, our reserves of stuff. Let's get this jade out of there, actually. Now that we have a dedicated miner right there. Too bad that it's unwaveringly loyal. I would be 100% ready to make her into our, our mining person, you know, but unfortunate it's not going to work. Oh, that's right. Sam joined the colony. <laughs> they happened, but they both happened at the same time. They not even realize it. Now you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did point it out, but then she needs to be converted to the cult of the Blargonites for a proper name uh, because these are dogs. I didn't really care too much, but as a proper human, Sam needs to have a baptism of the cult of the Blargonites. Otherwise, she's still going to be a subpar citizen. That's why her name is Dregs. For now, just a temporary interim name while we get her properly indoctrinated. And she's going to be our priority, I bet. I did not ever assign her her work, though. Everybody should have an, a tomb patient. There you go. Bed rest is three. That's fine. Uh, apparently Drex is very good with animals let me check out that stats shooting, cooking, animals not the greatest but we just want a, a good freaking soldier Drex not that many weapons do oh there is a freaking oh 15% on this, <laughs> this is MG, huh? that is garbage 
Hmm. Probably should give her one of the SMGs that the other idiots are using, but whatever. We'll just equip that SMG. Sweaty. Let me give you a low quality weapon. Slaves, you don't want them to be armed to the teeth. Otherwise, when they get uppity, and they do get uppity sometimes, well, when you have to put them down, a stray bullet may kill one of your actual worthy colonists. Not something that you want that one happening. I'm so ready to trade away all these organs. I cannot wait to have an organ customer. Three slave rebellion likely. This is just outrageous. This shouldn't be. Why is everybody so prioritized with mining? Uh, Tiros. This is this work is beneath you now. Hey, psych like refining, baby. Something I definitely want to do is some flak armor. What does it take for that? We need to do plate armor first, huh? Let's do that because uh, there's not enough armoring going on. All these idiots are not properly equipped. And then the mechanites are going to obliterate me. The problem is, there's just too many slaves. What I need is to extract some skulls and put skull spikes all over the damn place. Also, I should have like a dedicated... Let's put a give it cage right here. There you go. It will eventually be filled. Then I have one. Yeah, look at that. Get rid of that. Install this here because the drug man is you're going to make Yayo forever. Actually, you want to make Yayo times four forever. Uh, and then just drop it on the floor. And for Yayo, you just need Psychite. That is all that you need. So we're going to get some shelves. I always like... What do we have? Slate. Is that what we have? Is it really what we have? We have a ton of marble. That's about it. Yeah, so let's go over here and create some marble shelves. And we actually want single shelves. And we're going to do one, two, three. And let's see, it's cloth, medicine, nutramine. So like that. Neutramine and Psychite. Clear everything. Cloth. Then in this one you put clear everything. Neutramine. This is for medicine. Level 2 medicine. This one you put uh, herbal medicine. And in this one you put psychoid leaves. That creates a very well-stocked drug lab. And I look forward to the results. Can't wait for all of my crops to grow so we can start this drug operation. Be excellent. All right, the mech is being gestated. That's great. All right, everybody's mostly healed with the exception of a few of the animals. Poor Major Stupid, man. It's just a complete disaster. It's just a completely mangled mutt. This poor creature. Just imagine. It's just falling apart. Poor, poor Major Stupid. What we're going to do... Uh, let's see. Animals. We're going to, for now... Mother in law can definitely escort. But Ruffle Stump, how about you sit a couple of these out? We're going to leave you alone. We have another elephant calf. They didn't realize that uh, another one popped up. Little baby trunklet. Must rename. Uh, we probably already have Stump Master, but whatever. I don't care. Ruffle Stump, Murder for Us, Major Stupid, Mother in Law, Stump Master. Good enough. Following with the with the theme. All that being said, I really would like to murder some people. That's something that I enjoy at all times of the day. And this is the only murdering that is available to me right now. We don't really care about the gold or the plasteel right now. Although plasteel, you know, you do want a stockpile because later a lot of things take plasteel. And it's pretty hard to get if you don't have it. But 
an orbital bombardment targeter is something I don't think I've ever used. Psychic insanity lands is also super useful when there's a slightly overwhelming raid. Let's just accept this quest. I am sure I will not regret this decision. All right, you filth, pathetic scorpion man. He's off to play poker. He is absolutely worthless. Just, I mean, it doesn't matter the priorities that you put down. He's just trash. Going to do absolutely nothing. But I do look forward to the death and destruction that's going to happen. Hike is idle? You got nothing to do? How can this be? How can this be? You're our incredible builder and a, a socialite. You have all kinds of social things to do. This is not for prisoners anymore, for colonists. There you go. You have all kinds of things to do. Build me a freaking dresser. What is our wood situation? We actually have shit for wood, right? We have nothing. No wood whatsoever. So, uh, for some reason, I've been constructing wooden dressers like a moron. Make them out of marble. You absolute psycho. Give one to... Gravedigger. Give one to Dermeister so they can keep all their beads and rattling necklaces and all that trash they put on their fur. Who the hell knows? Or their bird skulls. I don't know, man. They're just... These damn furry Wookiees are disgusting. I only tolerate them in my colony. For the sake of their mighty prowess. Hopefully the raid that is coming is not going to be <laughs> the end of this colony. I mean, it's just 14 people. I can obliterate that group in my sleep. Easy. Tony is slowly being convinced to work for me. It is pretty damn silly. I don't think there's anything else to be done other than just wait for research to be done. The thing is, now that more and more... Oh, hey. More beggars! Man, that's just way too many people. A group of poor travelers, including some children, are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 70 herbal medicine. Do you think I'm a freaking medicine dispenser, you absolute buffoons? What is this insanity? By the way, now I have a lot of jade. Let me make it into a sculpture that maybe I can just sell. Clear everything. Make it out of jade. Requires 50, huh? Maybe it's probably make something bigger. Make large sculpture. Uh, make it only out of jade. Because jade doesn't sell for a whole lot, but if you make a sculpture out of it and you sell it, you get quite a bit more money out of it, but of course you need somebody to sell it. Otherwise, you're you're just increasing the value of your colony for nothing. And now Hike can actually get it done for when. Um, let's just make it so that yeah, yeah, Hike can do it. Hike can do it. We can actually give her art a little bit more priority. Since we have so many crafters, she can do it after wardening and child care, which, uh, of which there's none just yet, but there will be eventually. Maybe I should start forcing that to happen. Just extract people's genes or, or you know, uh, engage in IVF fertilization. There's the beggars. So, a pile of beggars, you say. I never got to read the whole thing. Give on into the travelers by selecting a colonist and right clicking uh, on Nufer. These travelers are not part of any faction. If you wish, you can just to kill or arrest them. Oh, just <coughs> kill, arrest, or sell or harvest them. This is a lot of organs for me. This is a lot of skulls. And, you know, the tiny children's skulls, they are extra aesthetic. We might just gather here and just shoot them all down. I think that that's probably like the best way to do it. Let's take a let's take a look. Maybe one of them is an absolute you know, pretty psychopath, quick sleeper, huh? This is like belongs in our colony, but it's another filthy furry though. No, no, this one's a baseliner. It's or that is a furry. Seventeen social 
psychopath, industrious, body modern, psychically, psychically dull. I think that's just their genes. Yeah. Capable of cooking. What a what a social item. Incredible. Then there's Tony and Hussar. They have like nothing. They have knives. This is pathetic. I think we should just mow them all down, children included. Or maybe kill the adults and let the children run to tell the tale, create some, some future psychopaths. I think that's a pretty good atrocity. I like going out of my way to create incredible revenge arcs. A brother and a jogger, huh? Enrique might be our... Our cho choice. Eh, not really into it. Tony would be nice because we don't really have a dedicated researcher since our, all our good researchers are freaking slaves. Crack like Vagve is the only one that is dedicated to it. But having two would be nice. And ah, Blarko is on it. And Brakesol is also on it. So, I mean, obviously I'm not going to give them the medicine. How about everybody just gathers around? Slaves included. Everybody should participate in this. Let's just go over here and just do a little bit of target practice. I think this is a, a great, this is a great choice. I see no problem with this. You come to the desolation of the wicked or whatever the hell name I've given this colony, uh, begging with your panhandle. Say, like, oh, give me some medicine. You, you seem to have a lot of medicine. 70 will do. I think you really should rethink your choices. Never, never come back. Let me just uh, slaughter all of you, okay? Yes, shoot them all down as you, as you traverse my field of potatoes. I like how slow they walk. This is very helpful to me because it's great target practice. Okay, let's get a little bit closer so that the children can be mowed down properly. If you would like to, uh, maybe just stand still. So, my guys... Actually, no, I appreciate that they're running. That way, there's a little bit more challenge on the shooting. Yeah, nobody escaped. Well done, everybody. Well done. I'm sure that you have a little bit of a problem with mowing down children. But it's really not that big a deal. Dunlap actually survived. How are you doing, Dunlap? He's a wimp! <laughs> Alright. How about we force the... How about we force the newest slave to go over here and punch this child to death? There you go. This is the way we do it in the in this cult. Everybody's skull I would like to be removed so we can have... Uh, well, good job there, Sweaty. Good job. You will only get half the beatings tonight. Excellent work. All right. Another group of beggars. We have liberated the world from another filthy group of beggars. I'm so glad that we did the right thing. It's important to do the RimWorld a service. Ah, yes. Perfect. Oh, the Venerated Silicon. You've learned of an ancient terminal that contains information about the problem solver. However, the terminal is surrounded by tribal... Oh, we've done this before. We absolutely accept these. Because they're like the easiest. A, hey, we got a conversion going on. Do we have a ritual of cooldown? No, it's still 10 days. So, I think Dregs needs a conversion the most of them all. Because you see, Dermeister, uh, they have Raid Justice, which, you know, embraces violence. They do enjoy the violence and the pain and all that stuff. The raiders. So while not our ideology, they are not as sad about putting up with the cult of Blark as they are as somebody with a patriotic path. They are really anathema to our beliefs. So let's concentrate on drag being converted. There you go. How much does it say? Stop, stop. Oh man, only 24%, huh? That's too bad. Needs to happen though. We'll, we'll work on it. 66, man. That's gonna take a while. Maybe I should have worked on that before getting here into the into the place. 
Burmeister, why are you so sad? I don't get it. We just murder a bunch of... Ch I mean, this is <laughs> minus three. <laughs> Only minus... Oh, animal. Animal. I thought he was worried about the children being slaughtered, but they don't really care about it, huh? I get it. I also do not care about it. Scorpion is just idle because he's a piece of garbage. So how do I make sure that these slaves never re rebel? How are the guys... Let's see, slave, 100% suppressed, 89% suppressed. I think just sweating needs a couple beatings is all that needs to happen here. Uh, certainly don't want it to happen with a sword. That would be pretty bad. How about... <laughs> Bargo is always preaching that gospel. How about we just punch sweaty a little bit? He is a wimp, right? Yeah, so he'll just go down and do like one hit. Please stop moving so we can punch you a little bit. There we go. Well done, T-Rose. It's all right. He wasn't doing anything important anyway. So he just goes down like a bitch. And uh, he'll recover when he recovers. He'll be fine. I'm glad that we have made... Oh. Insulting spree, their miser. Yeah, we saw this coming. We could... We could... Arrest him because insulting sprees are dangerous. They can devolve in a complete disaster of of um, <laughs> of mental breaks, especially if he's insulting freaking Grave Digger. Grave Digger asks Tony about it. Oh, okay, he's actually not. Who are you insulting? In <laughs> just just insulting the guest. That's fine. Well done, Der Meister. They really do deserve a lot of Derizen. Plate armor has been researched. I want flak armor now. I want to be able to create flak bests. I feel like I should probably prioritizing other things. I would like to get those xenogenetics and all that stuff, but... Travelers betrayed. Yeah, that was fun. Um, let's go to the world. We haven't generated yet. Go and see what we can do. Where is this? Right here. Worship of, Villa, of the Branya people. How many people? I wish it would tell you. But usually three people is more than enough of a strike force. Let's create... Let's create a caravan. We'll be there in no time. Me, I put a little bit of thought into it. All right, I've decided to send Effin Damis and a herd of animals with Grave Digger and Banana and then a couple elephants. And that should be plenty of firepower to overwhelm the savages. Get that package survival meal. We'll send them out. And the thing is, I think I need to assign... Everybody has Lavish. After Red has paste, Fatherner should also have paste. Uh, but I need to go to Lavish and say that the package survivor meals are okay. Well, what I should do, as so much of busy works, I often sometimes, often sometimes, I will have two restrictions and then constantly change it for the people that are traveling. That is such a pain in the ass. Let's just not even do it. I'm just gonna, everybody can just eat that. Drex is very sad. Maybe has something to do with uh, butchering people. <laughs> I, I can see how that would hurt somebody that is uh, not ready to embrace the values that we espouse in this land. But you just have to persevere and just take it. Did I just watch <laughs> the scorpion getting murdered? Oh, she got uh, a little upset. Uh, I'm supposed to protect this person, <laughs> you know. You do it. You do you, Dermeister. We no longer are in the business of controlling anybody's emotions here. If you need to unleash your inner beast on this lazy piece of garbage, after breath is uh, now it's not wandering, that's okay. I mean, I too would be catatonic and pathetic if I... If I were enslaved by the by this group of psychopaths. Here's what we can do though. 
We can uh, bring Break Soul over here and T-Rose over here. And you know what cures sadness? A whole lot of pain. A lot of pain will save, the, save you from sadness. You just need to get punched in the head enough. And the beatings will continue until morale improves. There you go. Well done, everybody. Another slaved. Saved from sadness. Look at that. After Breath is no longer wandering in sadness. This is excellent. I don't see a problem with any of this. Okay, the caravan has formed. Pleases me greatly. Everybody, keep... Do what you're doing. You're doing great. A lot of harvesting going on. Did we get skulls? Okay, five skulls. We need some... I think it's an ideology. Yeah. What do we want to make these stands for? Let's just make it out of steel. It is more stark and intimidating that way. Let's continue our skull motif. That's weird how sometimes it deselects what you have. Here's me out. A couple skulls right there. Of course we want... A skull there and score with the <laughs> please rescue rescue scorpion like she is a piece of garbage but she does need a little bit of help why are these guys Blargo why are you not tending to these people why are you stupid taking five meal to inventory you better go tend some wounds over here there you go well done Ah, ah! What are you doing? Why would you be using Glitter World Medicine to tend some bruises? That's insanity. Okay, everybody's in herbal, right? Another one in gl Glitter World. Are you insane? That is so dumb. That really should never be the default for anybody. Makes me crazy. He's still on the floor, huh? That's all right. Ragman is just watching TV over your your freaking body. That's okay. Sweaty, sweaty can also wander in pain. Let me just convince him not to be sad though. No, they're master. You, you can rest in three. <laughs> Let me convince Sweaty not to be sad. There you go. T Rose will not take that nonsense. Just put him down. Punch him a little bit. Morale will improve eventually. You just need to be violent enough to stop sadness from happening. That's good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tony will soon join this happy, fun colony. I look forward to 37 minutes already, but I only just started to abuse my slaves. New recruit. Oh, baby. Just too much, too much diversity. This diversity of thought is overpowering us. We are uh, embracing too many diverse people we need to put a stop okay so uh for now tony you are just the geezer go do whatever the hell you want to do we will baptize you with a proper name once we convert you to our cult so her manipulation is trash garbage right let's go to the geezer Health, manipulation, 55%, and she's fully healed. This is just stuff, problems that she's got. It's like her manipulation will never go above 55%. You do not want this lady to be doing any doctoring unless you absolutely cannot stop, cannot help it. So that's a four for you on doctoring. Uh, basically, she's just going to be making rocks and hauling and cleaning. <laughs> It is pretty sad. It's unfortunate. The geezer, not the most useful of my colonists. I'm a bit, a bit sad that we are kind of stuck with these terrible family members. How about you equip the chain shotgun? There you go. Wearing that beautiful hat. Well, this is rescue still, huh? Sweaty, just nobody cares about sweaty. <laughs> you rescue. Return to the slave bed. There you are. Good, well done, T-Rose. Ooh, baby. Uh, unfortunately, I think the Amse Union is not modern. 
Yeah, they're freaking savages. But still nice to get, though. Get close to my colony so we can do a little bit of trading. Blargo's our guy, right? Sweaty, starving. Well, maybe he should have thought better before getting sad. No, Hike is our lady. All right, Hike will get some trading done soon. After she gets done with her, her sculpture. Okay, go trade with Donkey. I've been making some human leather dusters because they sell better than the regular human leather. And it creates a lot of practice with tailoring, so it makes a lot of sense to me. Let's get rid of this bird meat. Get rid of this chicken meat. Cougar meat, fox meat, iguana meat. I just want people meat. We'll keep the yak meat because we have a lot of it. Basically just uh, like dregs, stuff that is just rotting in the bottom of our freezer. Is there even anything though? We have so much raw fungus actually. We could just get rid of all the meat and just keep the 1600 human meat and raw fungus. That is a, a good balance. We don't need anything else. Let's just get rid of yak meat and uh, we'll keep the milk, kill the fungus. Unfortunately, no opportunity to buy components because these filthy savages got nothing. I don't care about any of that. We're going to just get rid of all the trash, dregs, plain leather. What a pile of garbage. But they will take medicine, though. Uh, do they have something I want? That is the problem here. I have so many things to sell, and they don't really have anything that I want from them. Bold goods traders are not that great. I'll take all your wood. Savage bulk good traders are trash. The regular ones are good stuff. They will have things that you want. But they really have nothing I want. It's unfortunate. Maybe we'll buy their dromedaries. Get ourselves some... Oh, but we don't have even a whole lot of nutrition in our pen. It's just bad. It's just bad all around. Unfortunately, they just don't have the things. Let's put a zero there. An 842, that's what it is. Unfortunate. We'll just get a bunch of cash out of this. Oh, well. We accept. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Keep the change, buddy. Keep the change. And uh, now get out of my face. I don't want you around anymore. How about your elephants don't go into my... All right, all right, our caravan has arrived. My favorite thing to do, slaughter savages. All right, everybody, go in. F and Damas, make Cybertron come murder thrust follow you. There will be an excellent line of defense. Oh, geez, I completely forgot that you're supposed to bring somebody that does a little bit of science. Actually, this one is pretty fast. It's the, the ones that you need to hack that are bad. All right, so should we go in or should we just attack right away? I think we should just attack on uh, in the open. There's five of them, though. I think it will be silly to attack from so close. Let me go back there. What kind of range you got? He cannot shoot me from behind the sandbags. He's a piece of trash. So, attack? <laughs> Here we have come to visit you. And by visit you, I mean just slaughter you and take everything you own. It's okay. Just let them get a little bit closer. And attack, animals! Murder Thrust and Sir Trunk will show you the true depths of pain that we visit upon all our enemies. Love this. I mean, sorry, Trunk are going to... They're going to get shot in the head in the back. It's unfortunate. But it's just too bad. They can take it. All right. Well done, elephants. You have shown these filthy savages what civilization and progress looks like. Okay, Evan Damas, you can do the honors as the one and only sapient being inside of this group. Everybody else is a filthy animal, so you uh, you get that done. Dregs is very sad. 
That is just too bad. All right, we have the information. We can now leave. Elephant actually survived. Are you decent? I feel like we have been recruiting too many people. But, you know, you can never have enough kidneys. How about we just take them? Reform the caravan, go back. We'll take him with us. Oh, diners are also survived, huh? If nothing else, it's a little bit of medical experience for F and Damas. Yeah, take them both. We will convert them into profit. And then we'll, of course, take with us... Um, actually, we can just take the dead bodies as well, because it's just really useful meat. None of these are worth carrying, unfortunately. More skulls for the Blargo God, and then the pemmican. There you go. Quest completed, baby! Another step closer to the problem solver. All right, 45 minutes. It's just too much fun. Relic found! Awesome! That's going to be our mission on the next episode. A great collection of atrocities have come to pass. I look forward to our next step into the depths of hell.